Hey, have you ever wanted to make some really awesome hull paneling but without effort? I gotcha. Make a plane. Subdivide that plane. General density here will determine the size of hull panels later. Convert that to editable poly and open up generate topology floaters. It's under the polygon modeling tab of the ribbon menu. Click some buttons. Too many buttons! Okay, that's better. Go ahead and select all your edges. Hit create shape from selection. That's a little treat for later. Split those edges and then chamfer them. Make the chamfer narrow and make sure you have open chamfer set. Plates! But look! They're still flat though, so go ahead and add a shell modifier and get some depth. Neat! We can do better though. Select those spline treats from earlier. Normalize it to something small. Then use a random spline material ID script. It's free from splinedynamics.com. Then use the script to randomize between one and six material IDs. You can play with that. Randomize them IDs. Select ID number one, invert your selection with control I, and then hit delete. Now go ahead and make that spline renderable and give it four sides and an angle of 45 degrees. You can play with the width of it a little bit. Convert that spline to editable poly. Select the plates, remove the shell. Use your Boolean of choice to subtract the little box treats from the big plate guys. I use Thai Boolean. It's also free as part of the Thai Flow package. Reapply the shell. Now you have some thick space armor. You can use the sticky greebles thing from earlier to put this on stuff. It's pretty cool. I wonder if this can also protect you from the creeping doubt and fear that after 30 years you're only doing what your 8-year-old self thought was cool. I'm fine.